Oh, if I could just get a hold of that devil, if I could just, I'd wring his neck. I hate statements like that. You know, I hate them because they're absolutely foolish. This creature was full of wisdom. The sum of beauty was summed up in him. He was so deceptive that he could deceive the angels in heaven. And you're talking like you could go just take him and wring his neck. And even Michael, when he was disputing with, with Lucifer over the body, over the, with the devil over the body of Moses, he brought not a railing accusation against him, but he said, the Lord deal with thee. I think it's foolish and childish to talk like that. I think when we talk about, uh, you know, if I could just punch him in the nose, if I could just wring his neck. I grew, I grew, up, I grew up in a Pentecostal church, and we talked about the devil like that all the time while he was deceiving the whole works. While they were stuck in denominationalism and Trinitarian baptisms and, and marriage and re, uh, divorce and remarriage issues running rampant through the whole church and they were punching the devil and wringing his neck and calling him stupid. I say, if you want to wring somebody's neck, wring your own neck. If you want to beat somebody down, beat the same one Paul was beating because Paul was keeping under his body. He was bringing it into slavery unless when he preached to others, he himself should be a castaway. Paul was not acting silly and foolish. Amen. Brother Branham told us that the devil's a worthy adversary because God needed a worthy adversary. Let's not talk like little kids, Amen. But let's get down to business and say, really, if I want to defeat the devil, I've got to be, defeat the devil in me. Amen. If I'm really going to give him a black eye, then I've got to lay this flesh down so the word can move through this flesh. That'll give him a black eye. If I really want to stomp on him, what I've got to do is subdue this outer man and bring it in subjection to the word and let the spirit of God flow through me to manifest the word for the hour. And then he'll get a black eye. Then he'll get stomped on the head. Then he'll be defeated. Jesus won the victory in Gethsemane, and that wasn't a jumping up and down and stomping and calling the devil names. It was a wrestling with his own will, looking to his friends for support, asking God again if this could pass by. What was he doing? He was wrestling it all out, and he was overcoming. And when he finally subdued his own flesh, when he finally subdued his own will, he goes back to his friends and said, take your rest, sleep, all is well. The Son of Man is already betrayed into the hands of sinners. But it's okay. Oh, if the devil ever got a black eye, it was right there. If the ever devil ever got stomped on the head, it was right there, amen. If he ever lost a battle, it was right there in Gethsemane when Jesus Christ won back Eden. And I, I, I'm so tired of hearing rhetoric. What we need is a life, amen? We don't need words and pep rallies and speech. What we need is the manifestation of the life of Jesus Christ, one who would only do the Father's will. We need a people on this earth that will only do the Father's will. 